Closing arguments are set for this morning in the Aaron Schnagel murder trial. This comes nearly three weeks after that trial started. Schnagel faces a third degree murder charge. Prosecutors say the Chisago County man provided drugs that killed his ex girlfriend back in 2012. Danielle Jelinek was 27 when she disappeared. Investigators found her body five months later in a pond by Schnagel's house. Prosecutors argue that Schnagel dumped her body there. But the defense had a different version, saying Jelinek purchased the cocaine on her own, stumbled away from the house while Schnagel was sleeping, and died in a snowstorm. WCCO plans on being in court today for the closing arguments. We'll have continuing coverage on air and online all day. Today, a Richfield woman is scheduled to make her first appearance before a judge after a fiery wreck that killed a city worker in Bloomington. 38-year-old Tyler Lenort died three days after that crash. He and a co-worker had been clearing snow along a road in Bloomington last week when police say Marie Hall slammed into their snow plow. Charges filed against the 24-year-old say she had been drinking, speeding, and quoting the Bible. Investigators are now trying to determine what role mental health may have played in this crash. She was going fast enough to spin this big, huge pickup around 180 degrees, killing one and seriously injuring the other. Um, she shared with police officers that she read in the Bible, quote, you must die by the flesh to get to heaven and this is a way to end it all. Marie Hall is set to make her first appearance today. The other worker who was in the truck with Lenort is now in satisfactory condition. Tyler Lenort's co-workers are mourning his loss. He is being remembered for how much pride he took in his job and how much he loved working for the city of Bloomington. This morning, a home daycare in the North Metro is shut down after a little boy died. Cameron Lang was laid to rest yesterday. 22 month old died last week at Little Hands Child Care in Circle Pines. The Anoka County Sheriff's Office says it looks like an accident. Investigators say Lang was trying to crawl out of a pack and play when he got caught between another object. The state temporarily suspended the daycare's license. The woman who runs it did not return calls from our newsroom. Cameron Lang would have turned two next month. Governor Mark Dayton plans to visit Medelia today where a huge fire destroyed the town's main street. Flames ripped through businesses Wednesday morning in the town southwest of Mankato. It destroyed six buildings and a seventh may need to be torn down. The governor plans to tour the area this morning and meet with community leaders about the loss. The state fire marshal's office is helping investigate the fire's cause, and it could be months before they have any answers. Among the businesses lost, a furniture store, a dentist's office, a restaurant, flower shop, and hair salon. More than a half dozen old country buffets across the metro are closed. That includes this one in Richfield. Seven restaurants that closed in the Twin Cities are part of nearly 75 shut down nationwide Ovation brands. The parent company called them, quote, underperforming. The company said overall a large number of employees are affected, about 40 or 50 employees per store. They say those employees can apply to work at other open locations. Of course, Old Country Buffet actually started and was based in the Twin Cities for a while. Maple Grove, Burnsville, and Coon Rapids still open.